Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilem Somi. Day, they are perishing. Things are being thrown into the fire. When they get into problems, they are perishing. They are going to the sorcerers. They are, they are drinking alcohol. They are perishing. But what if the good news that we are preaching is being veiled? It is veiled only to those who are perishing. What is in them is the God of this world who has blinded their minds. Do you hear this? He has blinded their minds. In other words, their minds. He has blinded them. Let me explain what it is to be blinded. It means you cannot see. You are faltering about. Everything that you touch, everything that you see, you are trying to figure it out. There's nothing that you are certain of. Even when you place it, you're you're not putting it down with certainty. Even when you speak, you say, No, we are trying. You say, We are waking up. We follow those who are living. Because the God of this world has blinded the mind. We can't be serving a living Christ. The one who saves. The Jesus who died. Jesus who lay on the cross. The Jesus who entered into the grave. Who while he was on the cross. Even the sun went dark. And it was dark for three hours. He entered into the grave. And as he entered into the grave. 
Those who were already in the bed and many people were But you're still going to where Jesus went and people were coming out. I don't know if you read that. The Bible said as Jesus was in the grave, those who were already in the grave were coming out. But our people are still going to the grave. Where Jesus already in the grave. And he broke the power. And he took the power away from him. But people are still being afraid by the power. When Jesus entered into the grave. And he defeated death. I think as you were he said, death, where is your sting? Where is your sting, death? He said, put that sting in your hand. Let him release the sting into Jesus. We are sick and we know us. Even not us, oh Lord. You know that when a wasp only can sting once. Even death only had one day. And he stung Jesus and it stayed in him. And he stayed with it in the Why are people still going? 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 They are blinded. How can you go to where Jesus when he entered? Some others were leaving. Even Barabbas. He was taken out of the And Jesus. Was it, he said, Who must I free you? Must I free Jesus or Barabbas? But people, they wanted the rapist. They wanted the hijacker. The, he wants the big criminal. They want the people who rape them. They want the biggest murderer. They said the righteous person must enter into the grave. People like things that are sideways. That's why they gave away the Son of Christ, Son of God, so that we could know the ones who are like Barabbas. So that we would not die. So that we would not die there in the place of death. I don't know if you hear me. They Barabbas. Then Barabbas was released. And he said, how did I get released because I was on life sentence? How could I be released because I wasn't prepared to be released? I even had my own gang. I was part of the 26, 27, 8 gang. I was one of the numbers. But I heard them call my name. They said, Barabbas, you're being released because Jesus is taking your place. There are people who are getting out today. How are you going to get out? Because the right thing to get out is to get out. The right thing to get out is to get out. Because the right thing to get out is to get out. Because the right person is going to be crucified. He's going to be the price. Is there someone I'm speaking to today? Do you hear me, brethren? Barabbas was released. I can just imagine him wanting to go look on the cross and see who, who, paid, the, who paid this price for me. You know, not all the prisoners left. Only the top of the prisoners was released. Hallelujah. He was released. And Jesus faced death. And it released its sting. And when he got to it, he said, it's okay, release it. And it pierced him. And he entered in the grave. When he entered, he went deep into the depths of hell. He entered. He said, you took the keys of death. You took the keys of glory from Adam. He said, bring them back. And he took them. This happened all within three days. This happened all within three days. Oh my God. It's a good thing today. But let me leave it there.
Mange sa basala. Wakoka yonki ito ngoba zonki zinto zenzegi mfitla galui. We gathered everything because everything happens in the secret places. Oh my God. Wahamba, wabuise lukie baba wati baba na kukie se ngutati. He took the keys and returned it to the father. He said, here, I brought back the keys. Wati kumbula babu bengleti kazlamizo. And he said, remember that I brought my keys. And I went to go fetch the keys. Now return them to you. Now I'm waiting to go back to earth. Then the father just said, my son. My son. My son. Sit on my right hand side. My son. My son. My son. My son. On my right hand side. What's in daughter? Na ba 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 ba. Kisafa na ngwele mshabe. Things of vuga ngosukule sasa. Father, I need to go back to your daughter. What's in Shala and daughter? I said no. Sit, my son. In daughter, ni Shala ngosukule sasa. The son sat on the right hand side of his father. Ego tumizu. And the heaven stand. Bayete. We na wezu. You are righteous one. Sachelela kwathi wa ingobile ingonyama kachuta kushiwa phakathi emazulwini In heaven they were saying the line of Judah has conquered Hey go celebrate And there was a huge celebration Ngala imhlabeni kiyakhalo And on earth they are weeping Ngala izulwini kiya celebrate And in heaven it's being there's a celebration Tshiwa ufanele wena ukuyivula impawu To open the Ngoba wanqoba Because you conquered Watu baba. The father said. Ndotan. My son. Amandla wonke. All power. Kwanikela kuwe. I'm giving it to you. Awasezulwini. In heaven. Awasemhlabeni. And on earth. Nangaphansi komhlaba. Even below the earth. Hamba kwenza umathanda ndotan. Go and do as you please my son. Usungqobile. You have conquered. Okade kuhlula abantu. What defeated people? Bonke abayokholwa kuwena. All who believe in you. Sebe yonqoba babe njengawe. Who conquer and be just like. What igama lakho? Said your name. Ngeliphakamisi. I've lifted it up. Phezu kwamagama onke. Above all names. Ngikunikeza igama. I've given you the name. Wonke amadolo azoguqa. All knees shall bow. Sonke ilimi sizofu. All tongues given you a name. What to Jesus and Yabong? But Jesus says, Thank you, Father. Yabong. Thank you, Father. What to Jesus? Sick Fanel and Gilvo. But Jesus said, I need to go and rise. Girl and Dum Zimba. I'm going to go fetch my body. Hey, Yahambi Gonyamem didn't catch you. And the line of Judah left. Young man. And entered. But Bezo Pego Maria. When the Mary and him were coming to him, they found him chilling on the rock. The lamb lomo etu. That was closing. Yabo lente bis valet. You see what was closing. The honest soldier was palu for six. That's what we're going to be sitting on top of relaxed. Yay! Sisazo shala pezu kwe zintu. We're going to sit a bar situation. Bebe valelo wa mapati na mashwa. Others had misfortune. Bebe valelo in poverty na zifo. Others were being blocked by poverty and illness. Koto sisazo shala pezu. But we're going to sit on top of those things. Sipa lufo njengo Jesus. Relax with our legs crossed like Jesus. Sisi, nisfuna hapa, nispega kwe poverty. Are you looking for us in poverty? Nispega kule. Are you looking for us in poverty? Nispega kupege. Are you looking for us in poverty? Nispega ikualati. Are you looking for us in poverty? No, zila nga pat. No, it is beneath us now. Is there anyone who can hear me? And they said, go and tell your brothers that I've risen. You see the good news that we preach? We're preaching about the person who was resurrected. You see, there are kings that are powerful. There are people like Shaka and Senzaka Kona. There are Zulu kings that were very powerful. God was like But they ended up in the grave. God was like But there's this lion. There's this king. That rose from the dead. And it's got the body of a lion. It's got the skin of the lion. But it itself it is a lion. Of the family. Proud to be the lion of the proud of Jesus. And when it moves its muscles, <laughs> and when it steps, and when it steps, it moves its muscles. 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 But our nation is being held by this thing that is about this, this futile 
that is held in the grave. We don't know anything that happens in the in the grave. Where are people laying in the graves? First they were sleeping, they were laying. Do you hear me? They were the first to lay there. We Old Testament. In the Old Testament. Let me explain to you. I want to demonstrate. But because I have to explain, let me explain. At first, they used to lay on the graves. And God said, whoever has an ancestral spirit, they need to be stoned and killed. Because he will he would lead the, the, the nations astray. The first king of Israel. He said they must banish, be banished and killed. Do you hear this? Then that's what happened. Then he had an argument with God. And he didn't want to obey God. And then, yeah. then he said, I will not love no no Samuel. He said, Don't speak no for him. He said, Samuel, don't I don't mean. pray for him to me. Mm. I am in an argument with him. What my and when he remembered, uh, God, God, he said, He can't remember. He can't speak to God. To God. Then he went and looked for someone who has this ancestral spirit. So my figure And when he reaches that person, what uh, camp. He says that this person is in a camp and he's run away from Saul. Saul. But Saul has now come to look for him. Saul is speaking one thing on the pulpit but he's doing another thing behind closed doors. <laughs> Let me repeat that. Saul is speaking one thing on the pulpit on the other side he's doing something different. is that not what's happening today he speak one thing on the pulpit but behind closed doors on the pulpit we're saying they must be killed but on the other side we're running after them Saul went the very same thing. And Saul did the very as same thing. thing. As they will do as preachers. Of the time. As time. As we are keep his hand over him. He takes someone out of the earth. But when we want power and people to follow us, we go straight to the sorcerers. History just keeps repeating itself. History keeps repeating itself. We and the preachers are the ones who are following the sorcerers. And they'll even be proud of themselves. They say even pastors will come to us to give them something that will bring people to them. We'll give them zombies to go and fetch people. They come to fetch people from us. That's what Saul did in the Old Testament. Only God could please help us. To look at Holy of Holies. Calvary. To look to a God where He lives. Because they say this thing of Jesus takes a long time. And even brethren, they don't give. Don't give That's why they want the quick ways of going to the sorcerers so it can happen quickly. And Saul did the very same thing. He came. And the sorceress said, They said, what do you want from me? Saul said, the people like me should be killed. I don't work anymore. I don't, I don't evaluate anymore. What do you want from me? And he said, no, don't mind that. I just want you to do what I want. What do you want me to do? There's a person that I want you to raise from the dead. And he said, let's go. Let me burn my incense. Why shy? Why shy? What if woman boo? And Saul agreed. Then, and a man rose. From the dead. If we get from the grave. If we so ban, who is raising him? If we so is ango, the sorcerer, the sorcerer, in your tagati, the son of God. Go vuginto tagati. 
a man of God <laughs> that was walking <laughs> God, that did not even <laughs> mess up even one word of God being risen by a sorcerer. How can it be that a sorcerer can, wait, can raise a man of God? And when, and when the anointed man grows, being risen out by the sorcerer, and the anointed man did not speak with the sorcerer, he spoke to the anointed one who has now lost his anointing. I don't know if you can hear me. He doesn't have the space to speak to the but the sorcerer used the anointing of the one who came to raise the anointing. Otherwise, he could not. But it's the anointed one who came. I want to tell you this hidden secret here. The power of the wants to partner with the of God so that the power of the that worked with Christ I'm just going past I'm just, I'm just passing by. He said, so? Why are you bothering me? Why are you raising the dead? You didn't want to listen. To then God. let me rest. Then the sorcerer spoke. And he said, Who are you? Are you not Saul? He said, We should be killed. And he said, Keep quiet. Just do what I said you must do. Why do I speak about this man? I want you to understand Why do I speak about this man? Why do I understand this? I want you to understand. That some people's situations end in the grave. And when they are in conflict with the because the God of this world has blinded the mind. He has closed the mind. He has closed the mind. You will always be faltering about. And he said, No, I'm done. It's okay. Take him back to the grave. I'm going to go on living. At that time, the servants of darkness, his power ended up in the grave. They work with the power of the grave. They don't know how to use the power of heaven. That's why in Jesus, when he arrived and entered into the grave, he said, all of you, Samuel, Samuel David, David, all of you, come out. Get into the city of Jerusalem. Of earth and on Jerusalem. I've come to conquer the I'm going to separate hell and heaven. There's no one who's going to be risen up by ancestors. There's a, there's a matter that they've once spoken. I don't know how true it is. That's why I'm clarifying. I don't know how true it is. But it was the work of the kingdom of darkness if it is the truth. There was once an anointed man when he died. When he died, he loved to read the newspaper. And when he was buried, when they went back home, they found him in the kitchen or dining room reading. They said, What do you want here? Do you hear this? What do you want here? Which means in other words, in other words I don't know how true this is. Or if it's a lie. But I think it's a lie. Or else it's a lie. Because it's one of the anointed people that we really respect. For him to just rise. To become a ghost. When he was just buried. Because they want to shake people in their face. Because when he went there, he didn't see the heavens, so he decided to come back. 
He was, he was risen before them and he went and he was in the hidden places. Do you hear me? Brother? In other words, the devil has bound the minds of people for them to remain in the grave. And our people, they believe the words of the person who is dead. Do you hear me, brethren? When the person dies, they will say, who was near the person before they died? It's as if, were, if only the person near them could have been a safe person. They will ask, what did, they, what did he say? I would say, go and get safe so that you can all go to heaven. Because they really believe the word of the person who has died. That's why even so when they lie, they lie through people who have died. They know where your faith lies. Even if they were lying, you would not be able to refute that. Because you can't see in the spirit. You can't see someone needs to see God. Because you, your mind has been blinded. You need to follow those who can see that call them by name. Go, call, go ask from the, those who are liars. Is it not? No, it's are not liars? No, it's speaking about them. So our people are bound. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. The person who died in the hospital. I'm not even speaking about now that it's the time of the pandemic. Many people in the world can die. If you're going to fetch your family member, in which ward? COVID. In the COVID ward. <laughs> they say no one enters in there. You don't even enter close to that ward. You stand in the corner of the passage. <laughs> and then you come and tell who <laughs> you come <laughs> to speak. I want to show you how we've been taken a fool of. We have been taken for fools. I remember one day, I don't know who I was with. I went with Pastor Mieza. And I said, let me accompany this person and see what will happen. Then Pastor Mieza went in with her. They said there's a someone else who is in that bed. Now. You can't enter inside. You have to stand in the passage and pull them by their name. Call them by their name and surname. We're coming to fetch you. And people who have this belief. So and so, we've come to fetch you. And the way these people have faith, they believe that in the crowd of people who died in the board, that one person will come out and come and climb onto this branch. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm speaking the truth. And then they'll believe that that person is all right. I don't know who even is on this branch. Maybe there's another person who became a thug in the water. They said, no one else is going to come out, I'm the one who's going to come out. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just imagining what it's like. Because there are giants on the other side that say, no, this world is mine. I'm in charge of this world. 
if that person was a righteous person, they would remain in the corner. But even if their name was called, they'll be like, no, you're not going anywhere. I'm the one who's going out. They ask, how's your family? Is it the it's like, now it's me who's going. You must stay behind. Because we have been waiting for the You can't even feel that the, when the leaf is moving that the person is now on the branch. He's going with faith. But we are failing to believe in, in Christ who died for us. And you say that we are going now. Just imagine this, we are going now. Leaving the hospital. As if you didn't know where you died. In this ward. We are leaving now. We are going to enter on the Mercedes. And when they enter. And then you ask did you go well. And you go well. Yes, I go so you know, now the one who is Because we don't know them. When you enter into the taxi, you're going to crowd people. And they'll say, no, they'll keep asking me questions. They may just put him in a plastic bag. Plastic or no name. You put them in a no-name plastic. Then you tell them, no, you are by home, now you take them out of the plastic, so they are more respectable. We're getting off the taxi now. And the taxi man was playing music. And then you tell them, no, you are we don't know if there's nine spirits now on this branch. I just want you to see how much faith you have. We can't even believe in Jesus Christ who rose from the dead. We can't believe in the Son of God. That took us through the Son of God. These people didn't feel anything. Amen. <laughs>